Okie dokie. So in this problem, they say which of the following is true about f of x equal to negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 7. So the main distinctions in these answers are the ordered pair, where either the max or the min occurs, and whether or not it's a max or a minimum. So the first thing we can start with is trying to identify at least the x value where either the max or min occurs. If we think about it, a max or a min will occur for some quadratic function wherever the vertex is. So, for example, if it's a an opening up U-shape or uh, opening up parabola, then we will have a minimum at the vertex, right? So it's the lowest point of the entire curve. But if we have a, an opening down parabola, we will have a maximum at, a, at you know, the vertex. So regardless of whether or not it's a max or a min, the vertex is where it will occur. So if we use the formula for the x value of the vertex, we will find where it occurs. So negative b over 2a, we have our b value of positive 6. We have our a value of negative 3. So we say that x is equal to negative b, which is negative 6 over 2 times a, so 2 times negative 3. So we get a negative 6 over a, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So negative 6 over negative 6 is a positive 1. That's pretty cool. So what we find out is that the x value of the vertex, or x value of either the max or min, is uh, positive 1. So any x values that don't have positive 1, C and D both have negative 1, we can eliminate those. So then we want to find out, okay, well, is it going to be a minimum or is it going to be a maximum? That's where we look at the A value or the coefficient of the X squared term. In this case, the coefficient is negative 3, which indicates that the X squared term is negative, which means that we will have a facing down parabola which indicates that we must have a max at the x value of 1, which means b is probably our best bet. Bring out the eraser, find out that b is the correct answer.